Hi right, guys, so this is it. Almost final hardware. I've got everything in the manorial case. I've got everything hooked up. And I'm doing a heat test run overnight right now to find out what the equilibrium temperature is with one graphics card and the new and everything else new hardware. I got folding at home running here. They came up with a new folding at home client that made it a whole lot easier to run uh, folding at home. Now I can have uh, one little control dashboard up and it'll start a GPU client and a CPU client for every GPU and CPU in your uh, computer. So that works out pretty well. I'm keeping a log of temperatures over time right here. We're going to find out how hot this guy gets. So all my new hardware here, I've got a Silverstone ST1500. It's a 1500 watt modular power supply. I took the sleeving or jacket off of it so that I could push oil through the components using a very strong Delta fan, AFB 1212GHE, Grand High Edition or something like that. It's a very fat, powerful fan. I noticed with my old setup when I did my previous test run on an old hardware with an old power supply that the power supply got excessively hot because there was no circulation. This way I don't trap oil inside the jacket. We should be good. I've got a real SSD C300 256 gigabyte SSD hard drive. That works really well. I've got it in my current setup, my air-cooled setup upstairs. I've got an AMD FX8150 processor with an Arctic Cooling Freezer 13 uh, heatsink there. And I've got a GTX 8800 uh, NVIDIA graphics card. I've also pulled the uh, sleeve off of that. When it's air cooling, the sleeve helps take the air from that little circular fan there that's spinning really slow. In this case, though, I'm pushing lots of oil with another AFB 1212GHE fan. I want to see if that's enough to keep these cards cool, which is part of the reason I'm doing this heat run tonight and for the next week. I plan to do a stability test over the full next week using this graphics card. And if this passes, then I'll put in my two GTX 580s, and this becomes my new main rig. I'm currently running on an AMD 965 Black Edition, so it's not that much of an upgrade, really, but it's fun to check out new hardware and stuff like that. I know Intel processors are better for gaming right now, but I am kind of an AMD fanboy. Uh, not really. I, I'm logical, but I like to stick with the underdog a little bit here. Got my same old pump that I had before with ugly anti-vibration mats down there. So one big thing is that this needs a huge polishing pass. I need to go in and clean up cable wiring. I need to add in caps on these corners here. I've got special little caps to close them off and make them look a whole lot better. It'd be nice if I could cut the uh, vibration matting better. I'm going to put in a little Tiki Man decoration right there. And maybe some other things, aquarium rocks. I've got them, I just haven't uh, given my hardware enough of a test run to put it in yet. Here's my custom modded fan controller. Came with all blue LEDs. I put in green, orange, green, orange, green, orange. I got the Mora 2 radiator, this massive thing here with Nexus fans in it. Damn silent, can't hear them at all. And you can see that it's fully hooked up and fully functioning. I'm pushing oil through those tubes. It's coming up in the radiator, going back in the tank. I've got these stoppers right here. They work to make sure that the lid doesn't open and overextend on the joint and cling. It's all a pretty good setup. It's pretty warm right now. It's reasonably warm to the touch. It's at about uh, 80, 88 Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in Celsius. Oh, hold up. I can figure out real fast. There we go. I'm at 32 Celsius. And that is uh, the temperature of the actual case itself. Um, there's a reflected IR, so the thermal, the infrared thermometer is getting the temperature of the actual surface of the case when I do that. Overall, it's working pretty good so far. Temperatures don't look extreme. I'm looking forward to this. Everything's coming together. I'll give you guys another update in a couple days when I see how things are going and after I transfer over my two graphics cards, assuming that there's no issues. See you later.